Well, what is up you guys? Welcome back to our dumpster diving channel. We just got to the first spot of the day. We're gonna check some retail shops and see what we can find. So here we go. All right, we got some boxes here. I might grab one for our finds today. And this is definitely a restaurant. It's a bummer because this store is a children's boutique also. So I know that sometimes there would be clothing or accessories in here, uh, but it's kind of gross today. There we go, okay. Little oh, this is medical stuff. Weird, there's just a salon, a clothing boutique, and a restaurant. So, all right, who's the recycling? There we go. Well, nothing at the very first spot of the day. So, we're moving on. All right. What do we have? A bunch of leaves. A bunch of white plastic bags and one mayfly. <laughs> Do you think all this plastic is like, what, from the boxes of clothing that they've gotten delivered? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Huh. They're on back unboxing things and... Yeah. This dumpster is always just full of it. It's like all there ever is in it is just huge bags full of plastic wrap. So, all right, go to the next spot. All right, new dumpster. Oh, empty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, empty. Next spot. All right. Let's see what we've got. Uh, okay, there might be something in here. So what we can see already is that someone was going through this stuff. Oh, Pans nasty. Cheese whiz. All right, cheese whiz. Now this is wild. Huh. This kind of looks like somebody pulled the bag out of the dumpster behind this wall, bring it, brought it over here, and what, just completely emptied everything? There's mac and cheese everywhere. Um, this is weird. Okay. I don't know why that stuff's all right there. I thought maybe that bag had something in it, uh, but it's just boxes. Sometimes here it's like kind of deceiving. It looks like there's tons of stuff like in that bag, but those are just boxes. This is so gross. Yeah, it's weird. It's just like maybe it was already ruined and they were just digging through it looking for anything not like this. Yeah, possibly. Gosh. <laughs> Double grabbers. <laughs> Nasty. Okay. Well, it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, isn't that weird? 
it's really weird. That's clearly not the store or employees. We really don't think that they would want their bags of trash um, to purposefully get put like that in that corner all opened. Uh, so it's kind of strange, but there's not anything here. Alex did tidy up a bit around this dumpster, so it does look better. And there's one cigar box. <laughs> no lid or anything. All right. This is recyclable. There we go. Well, okay, weird stop, but there we go. <laughs> We're going to the next one. All right, well, we weren't finding too much at shops, so we are switching up. We're at some apartments right now. Here is an old dresser. Ooh, I love these knobs with the maple leaves. Yeah. But this drawer has two. Oh, For that's true. Reason, you could take the bottom. Take those and do that. That's funny. I mean, this is definitely a project. Oh, it's wet. Yeah, there's water damage. Yeah. yeah, look, this one, like, is a different shape it's than the rest. It's like, no, I bet this one's supposed to be the top drawer. That's what it is. Uh, the drawers are swapped. That is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then here, take that one. There we go, oh that's God. how it goes. It's nice. Um, what's in there? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Dryer sheet. <laughs> yeah, like it's clean. This is cool. This is a whole bag of clothes. If they have like an on site laundry or something, it's a lot of socks. Oh, I bet. It's like when we found this at College Move Out, but look, there's a pair. We'll be able to get some good socks here, some shoes. Yeah. Cool. And then I don't know if that works. <laughs> yeah, but there, that's a fan, isn't it? Yeah, a heater. Yeah, it's a little space heater, I think. That's it's cool. Easy to check. Cool, and that bag of, um, it does look like uh, maybe they have a laundry mat on site for this apartment complex, and maybe those are the clothes that were left there or, or never picked up, but that's pretty awesome. We found a bag just like that at College Move Out last summer, and we like put a bunch of pairs of socks together, and those are the socks that um, I wear. You wear a lot of those socks too, so finding like um, essential items like that is really great. Socks are like kind of expensive for just socks, and so it's a nice thing to find. So there we go, our first finds of the day. So we're gonna keep going to apartment complexes. So we're moving on. Some boots. Well, boot box. Mm. Mm. There's like a There's an algae. <laughs> an algae. Is that gross? That's true. It's never brown. We're both filming. <laughs> yeah, apparently. There he got the water in it. Oh, it's gonna be hard to lose. Oh, 
Nice. That's a pretty big bottle. Y'all know Alex does jujitsu. I'm doing kickboxing now. Uh, we've been like alternating the Nalgene that we have at home. <laughs> so now we have another Nalgene. We can both take water. Good find, going to the next spot. All right, let's see, new complex. Oh, we've got two canvases. That's good. Yeah, we'll take those off. Yep. Okay, wait, let me get this situated so it's a steady shot before you do anything. And action. <laughs> oh, this person hates the art. Yeah, they do. Okay. I'll look through this. Hey, this would be perfect for a Bath and Body Works candle. This is one that's just been burnt all the way down. It even has the lid. They were using this for dog food, so someone else could use it for dog food. Sure. Oh! Oh, I hope the whole thing is in here. It's a blender. This will be the day of finding things that we need, if it is. Oh, there's some popcorns. <laughs> and popcorn. And popcorn. Mac and cheese. Pasta salad, some food here. Here, Allie, take these. Oh, here's quite a few items of food. Oh, and another canvas. <laughs> I hated their art so I know. Much. Yeah, that's just chili in there. Fire alarm chili. Oh, what's this? Has that been opened? Oh, yes, it has. Okay, here's a blender top, but no blender bottom. I wonder... One last bag I'm gonna check for the blender bottom. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is all trash in here. I don't even, that doesn't look like the same person's stuff. Yeah, I think Okay. Not yet. There we go. We got some good pantry items that we can donate. Uh, these are like crackers. They're all still in there. Uh, oh, I just noticed this on the mac and cheese. There's a hole like something was burrowing its way Ow. in. <laughs> okay, those will stay. So we'll check all the food, make sure it doesn't have anything like that, but Bacon flavored pasta <laughs> Okay, well, not a bad stop. Did you tie up those socks? I flipped it upside down. Nice. All right. All right. What do we have? All right, lots of trash. <laughs> lots of little crock pots over there. Yeah, lots of little boxes. All right, big guy. nothing there. Yeah, there's this big construction one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. They're renovating the apartments. Some blinds. Nicer hey. than the blinds in our room. They actually are, and they look like the right size. <laughs> Take them just in case. Yeah, just in case. I don't know anything about 
how to know if the right ones. <laughs> Oh, that would be kind of sick. That would be awesome. They look nice. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it'll fit, but... Yeah, I mean... Worth trying. They're definitely worth trying. They're a lot nicer than the ones in our guest room. Uh, they're like a way newer style. Yeah. Sick. That would be cool. We um, have some mini blinds in our office slash guest room um, and they're just really old uh, and so these if they would fit that would be great. We've been wanting to get new blinds in there. It's just costly but that would be very cool if we could find something like that that we've wanted to be doing to our house as a renovation project for free in the trash. All right we're moving on. All right here we are new complex. What do we have? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can climb into this dumpster. You can fit. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. This is a car seat, but we'll leave it. There's shattered glass on top of it. This is the microphone path of all the couches in the spring. Yes. This honestly is a beautiful field though. I saw a bunch of little birds hopping around and the trees are getting their new growth, new leaves right now. Beautiful. Well, all right. There we go, there were two dumpsters at this complex. We did not find anything, so we're going to a new complex. Here we go. Let's do a little dumpster diving. Okay. Alright. We have an outdoor patio furniture cushiony thing. It's very busted. Oh, it smells heavy, strong like smoke in here. Like really strong. Okay, let's do this. Oh, a little Hamilton Beach poster oven, but it's missing. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that would be worth taking. I don't know. We could, well, is that it right there? The pieces? Oh! <laughs> I bet. It fits. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let's, okay. let's take it. Yeah, let's take this. Well, at least. See if it works. Okay, it's like, do you see the sheets of glass? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tee time. I think that's kind of it without like moving around yeah, glass. Yeah, and all the glass. I don't want to. These have like nails all on them. <laughs> Here, I guess I'm gonna grab this little box to put this in. Like, why does it need to go in the box? I don't know. Cool, it looks nice. Yeah. There. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Moving on. Moving on. We're moving on, folks. All right. All right. We got one big, big sofa. What else? Construction stuff. Excellent. Oh, boy. Some buckets. Oh yeah, buckets. A little bit of water in the bucket, but there we go. Oh yeah, it looks like they were using them for dirt or something. Old, little dirt buckets. <laughs> They're classic yeah. dirt buckets. You know how people be doing yeah. their dirt. <laughs> All right, and this. Nothing. Nothing at all. Great. Sweet. Yeah, we're getting some items. One by one. One by one, we're filling up the truck bed. Bucket, bucket. Ooh, lots of birds. All right. Ooh, that bag definitely has stuff in it. I see like a flame 
bandana or something. Oh yeah, that's something maybe. Okay, that was a mess. There's a phone case. <laughs> so it's not like as heavy of a hitter as I thought. <laughs> I thought it might have been. There's a big old rubber band. Huh, these are like some weird little pieces. There's a lot of phone cases. Really? Oh yeah. Looks like they were taken somehow apart. Let me get a little bag. Oh look, we have our tubs. And there we go. Some phone cases. Kind of cool. Uh, these are just a couple permanent markers. A watch. Right there. Not bad. Uh, it's a little broken, I think. There we go. Not a bad little stop. We're moving on. Okay. So this, and this one's the dryer. There's no cable, there's no power. Oh. And so it's like, there's the um, vent or whatever, uh -huh. tunnel, the <laughs> tube, <laughs> but there's not the power cord. Okay. Is it in the washer maybe? There's. are in here. Okay. Huh. I don't know. These are nicer ones than we have at home. If they work. Yeah, that's definitely true. But I just, I don't know, what are the odds that they work? I know. Our dryer at home is broken, and so this is a washer and dryer that's newer than the ones that we have, um, but you know, how do you know if they work or not? We don't know. This one, the dryer, which is what we actually need, doesn't have these cords right here. So I don't know. Let's look in the dumpster and see if there's, oh, there's actually some really cute pumpkin pillows in here. by Rachel Ashwell. We need help picking those up. Well, do you, we don't know if they work or how to, you know. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah but my assumption is they, they didn't work. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of what we're, we're thinking at them and too. Trying to think about it, but it's missing these little cords right yeah, it's here. Missing the cables. I know uh, 30 bucks get, gets you a new dry cord. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's all that's missing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, uh, I saw them out here this morning, I mean, I, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if somebody, uh, digged it, or... Yeah, so we couldn't, I mean, they have most of the cords and stuff, so it doesn't, and like, even, like, leaving the screws, looks like someone was maybe thinking yeah, somebody like might right on top like be that. able to pick it up, so we were kind of thinking about, so 
Yeah, them up and give them a little shot, but... Would you I want mean, to? That, honestly, it looks brand new. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, you know that. I mean, hey, ours is like yeah, in our house from when we bought it five years ago and yeah, it's not worth it. it's broken. It's not worth a shot. I mean, if you wouldn't mind, we could take the dryer. We don't. Yeah, I can help you lift it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me try it. The worst that can happen is uh, you get it out there and then realize that no. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is a uh, heavier, one of the heavier dryers I've ever had. strapped in. Uh-huh. I mean, part of me is like, yes, because ours smells like mold. Like it would just be there nicer than new. If, this, if we get this one home and it works. I know, yeah. I could probably, do you think I could help lift it? I think you could. I okay. think you should, um, Let's put this stuff in the truck. In the truck. The room, yeah. I can take that too. I'm trying to think if... And it could fit right there in... I don't know if it would quite, but I think we could get it too. Okay. for us. Uh oh, the grabber. That was so nice of him to help us. He, I think he just saw us out the window and came over. So really cool, you guys. We're gonna probably go home. You wanna go home and test yeah, him? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna go see if they work. Awesome. All right, we are home. We are gonna do like a little bit of tidying in our laundry room since our dryer's been broken and stuff. It's kind of turned into like a storage uh, space for us. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning in there and then we're gonna take these uh, washer and dryers, see if they work. Very, very excited about them. Um, they're absolutely newer and um, in better condition than our current ones, especially the dryer because ours is actually broken. It does not work. It hasn't worked for months now. 
and we've been hanging all of our clothes to dry. Um, and so it would be really convenient if we could have a dryer again. We find clothes a lot in the dumpsters that we need to wash. And so it's just kind of a hassle to um, wash them and hang all of them and stuff like that. So hopefully they work. And then we also found some other stuff. We got the Hamilton Beach um, toaster oven, which I've never used one of these before. I don't know what kind of stuff you cook in here versus the oven, but there's that. We got our mini blinds that hopefully fit. Uh, it's this window right here. So I wonder if they actually, they might, they might be perfect. So it's that window. So let's see, hopefully so. And then in the truck here, we have all of those socks, a big old bag, um, and it's, oof, what's that? Oh, look, that's a old pillow. We'll toss that. It's got a rip in it. Okay. So the rest of this, though, looks to be socks and shoes. Um, so not bad. Oh, look in there. We've got dryer sheets for our brand new dryer. Oh wait, ah, it's empty. Darn, I'll throw that away, okay. So yeah, there's gonna be some good socks in here. And then also, this was at the dumpster with the washer dryer, so I got a little distracted, but look at this adorable pillow. This is a pumpkin shaped <laughs> decorative pillow, and here's the tag. The Farmhouse by Rachel Ashwell. So I bet that these are expensive. My guess is like $30, $40 a pillow for these pumpkins. And you guys, it's not fall anymore. So I guess they just didn't want them. So there we go. We have two beautiful pumpkin pillows now. I love these. They have a nice textured uh, stem right there. So there we go. I'm just gonna set them right here for now. These are some things we've found that aren't in videos. This is a headboard that's really pretty. I think it's a queen size headboard. And then this we pulled out of the dumpster, still in the box, and we haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I'm pretty sure it shelves. You can see on this side, see in there? And it was from a retail shop. I really think it shelves in there, and that's what I'm really hoping it is too, so that we can put them in the garage for organization. Look, those uh, pumpkins look cute with that headboard. They match as well. So okay, other than that, we got the washer and dryer that we will have to wait and get out together. Oh yeah, and, no that's not the only thing, a little space heater. Possibly it will work, we'll find out. And then this stuff as well, which I showed, but it's um, some pantry items. And then there's two of these, which are um, Bath and Body Works candles, but the candle has been burnt all the way. But you guys know we find a lot of broken candles, a lot of broken Bath and Body Works candles, and you can melt them down and put them into new containers. And so this is perfect for it because it's actually the real specific size of it. And so we got two of those right there, as well as that Nalgene. So pretty fantastic haul. There's some of the smaller items that we found there in the bed of the truck. Uh, we'll be donating a lot of the pantry items that we found. We'll be keeping those pillows because I think that they're adorable. All right, well, we're gonna get started on unloading this washer and dryer and I will update y'all and show you when they're in the utility room. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh. Yeah, it's pulling all this dust back here. It works! Well, okay. It took us a while, but we got them loaded inside. They're right here. They're so nice. I don't know if you guys have seen our old washer and dryer uh, in the past in old videos. I'm just like kind of toweling down some of this. We're sanitizing these areas. 
Um, and then we're gonna run like a load with just a towel, uh, just to make sure that it works right, goes smoothly, doesn't do anything crazy to the towel. And then I'll show y'all our old washer and dryer so you can see the difference. So here's our, our washer. It's a fine washer. They were here when we bought the house. Um, so we've used it for like four years. They've been fine, but these are nicer. They're cleaner, um, they're newer. There's like less damage and wear on them. And then this was our dryer and it is actually fully broken. We haven't been able to use it for months. Um, and so, yeah, but it wasn't a digital screen. We just had these kind of knobs uh, and same, over here with the washer dryer or with the washer it was just the knobs not digital screens and so it's pretty pretty amazing that we found that it's something that we have been wanting um really needing for a while we just haven't been able to go buy brand new ones and so the fact that we found them while we were out dumpster diving is just really incredible um this is going to help us out a lot okay it's the next day now and i have an update on the washer dryer so we hook them all up y'all see we're like so stoked about it then we go to do a load with just a couple towels in it because we just wanted to do like a quick test and we start it and the washer it's like making this like grinding sound like every time the drum rotates it just is making this awful noise and so it's just doing that and we're like there's no way that this can be right so we take the towels out we do the self clean on the washing machine and it's making that awful sound but it does the whole self cleaning cycle and it works and the interior was cleaner so we were like okay so it kind of works so Alex is like, maybe I'll look it up. Maybe someone's talking about it online. So he looks it up. He finds a YouTube video for somebody who's having the exact same problem. The guy fixes the problem um, with a, a dime, like a literal dime, he fixes the washer. So Alex is like, I think I can do this. So he lays it on his side. He follows the tutorial YouTube video that this guy shows and he completely fixed it. So the problem was that every time the drum spins, there's like this little plastic thing that's getting worn out every time it spins. We think that that's why they threw it away. We think that that little piece just wore out and so it started making that grinding sound um, and they probably just replaced the washer dryer set and Alex actually fixed it with a nickel so we even saved five cents on the whole thing hi future me here I'm editing this video I did not explain this part and it really only makes sense if I explain this part the nickel it was super glued in place of where the plastic was supposed to originally be I never say that and I felt like I should explain that because it only makes sense how we fixed it if I say that part <laughs> okay back to the video hope you're enjoying it so after that, we uh, did a full load. We washed all of our clothes. We dried all of our clothes and it worked perfectly. We like spent all day yesterday just like elated, like absolutely overjoyed to have found these things. And I didn't even tell y'all, we looked it up, that exact model and everything for the pair is on sale right now for $1,600. So, I mean, we never would have paid that much for them. Our dryer broke last year about a two weeks maybe after Pilgrim died. And so it was not a priority. Um, it was not something that we wanted to deal with. And now it's like almost a full year later. And um, we just really feel like it was such a gift for us to um, be able to find those and for that man to help us because we were really indecisive about it. We really weren't sure if we were gonna take them or not. I felt like we were gonna get them home. They weren't gonna work. And then we were gonna have to pay to have someone remove them or we were gonna have to haul them off somewhere. And so um, when he showed up, it kind of just made us have to make a quick decision and we decided to take them and um, it it worked out like it's so crazy I just wanted to update you guys with that an amazing dumpster find we decided yesterday this is probably our favorite find we've ever found uh, for our house a very expensive appliance that we were not able to replace ours right now and we found it for free I'm still like stoked so thank you guys again uh, for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it and we will see you very soon for uh, more dumpster diving and I actually have some very exciting news that will be coming in the next video. So stay tuned and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.